Welcome back, everybody, to TXP3. We are trying to return into this match from Day by Day versus Chaos. We were in a Vista hardpoint close towards the end, but one of the members lost to internet connection. So what we are deciding to do, or admins, not us, are deciding to do, we're going to remake the lobby, reset the map, and run it back one more time. Just as a reminder, my name is Seymour. With me is Zarin. And Darren, we're jumping it right back into that action right away. No waiting for them to start this lobby. The players, they're ready to go. Yep, right back into it we go. And well, we had a doozy the first time around. We'll see if we'll get the exact same day by day. Pretty much starting this game identically off as they did the first time. So good start from them. KB, as we saw, popped off late in that game. Looking for two, and he gets it right away. Looking for three, almost had that one on the first tee, who also, on the other side for day by day, had a fantastic first yeah. map too. And we didn't really talk much about first tee uh, between uh, the break, and I think we really need to. Like you said, fantastic before. Uh, KB started to heat up, so if he could get to that form once again, day by day, again, dominating the start of this hard point. Let's see if they can keep things into motion like we saw last time. KB going to get caught there. Ace Slims with a good little spree here. Three between Killrook and Ace Slims, but Exotic by himself breaks back in for the scrap time. Now a big fight going on. McBain looking to see if he can find the rotations. He will not. Yep, Exotic off to another good start, but Reddit and Killrook lighting up the feed themselves. Even better start right now for day by day, but Chaos, they did find their way back late in that game. And again, talked about KB. Let's talk about Sloshy and McBain. Gonna have to carry their weight as well if Chaos want to be successful, specifically yeah. in respawn as well. And right now, just not a great start for either of them, but well, there you go. McBain gets an important kill towards the mid map. That's gonna open the lane up just a little bit for Chaos. And that's five in a row for Killrook. Make it six in a row for Killrook. Wow. So into the second hard point, we got a streak for the side of day by day. That cruise missile, I'm sure, will come in handy later on down the line, but it's a three break there for Chaos. They're gonna get into that P2 for at least 15 more seconds. And McBain here looking for the players in the back. He's gonna get some timing. Oh, oh no, I thought for a second first two was gonna turn on him. Reddit comes to the rescue for the trade and it will be day by day. First one's in over towards P3. Wow, that that was a very mixy gunfight. And you talk about that streak on the side of Killrook. To get that so early, literally the first six kills of the game for him, uh, it's going to be so huge down the stretch. And, you know, if one of his teammates are getting close to, he can pop it, allow his teammate, uh, his teammate to get one, even for later in the game, if that is the case. But good break for Chaos. Uh, this is a very similar look as yeah. we saw in the first uh, rendition of this map. And look at that, the teamwork there to break underneath. It's three down for Chaos to get into this time with still 30 seconds so lots of time to look to tie this game up heading into p4 and now they can slay out kb in towards p1 looking wow. to see if he can cut off a few members big win there onto kill rook and now having an idea that some of them may be taking the long route here so kb's going to go on the hunt see if you find a few of these members well the rest just soak up that time back over towards p3 kb with a nice shot there looking for two but firsty that's a huge shutdown yeah, and you can see Chaos working the back of the map. That's the ideal way you want to break P4. However, it's day by day, winning their gunfights, back music. Here's and a streak. Oh yeah, here comes a streak. So an early streak out of Exotic. We actually didn't see him get that one, but oh, he hits the tower. Uh-oh. And that's not going to open anything up at all for Chaos. And now McBain fighting nades, trying to get the trophy down. And teammates just behind him. Just going to contest for now. Good opening kill from Sloshy. KB going to follow that one up for himself. Firsty having to go to work here. Back music. Yeah, it's bad news bears for the side of Chaos. And now Firsty looking for a couple of players. A Slims. Nice nade placement. going to get two. Exotic close by. Going to take the player out of the hard point. Still 20 seconds here. Exotic has a chance to maybe spoil a little bit of time here. He's going to jump in. Here's the rest of the team to help out. They're going to fish the, out Firsty. Weed him out from the back of those spawns. But now we look to the rotations again. McVeigh going to lock down some presence here. But he's going to be found out. Shut down. And day by day, once again, one thing that they've been on top of are these rotations. Yeah, absolutely. Day by day, rotating early, being successful uh, in their holds as well. Chaos having to break pretty much every hill so far on this first rotation. McBain slides in, grabs one. Now just going to back down as you see the battle for P1. One by A Slims day by day. Now control of the top of the map. Good trade there from Exotic. So McBain continuing the soak time, but he's got so much pressure all around him. Such a close game, 97 to 90. Still day by day, holding some presence in towards this hard point, keeping that lead by 10. 
KB into B1, has some help there, gonna finish off the second one into the contest now for Chaos. They're gonna walk away with some of these kills and the team kill is going to allow for the rest of Chaos to hopefully jump in for some time here, keep this lead about down by 10. And over into the second set of rotations now, a lot better from Chaos this time around. Everybody kind of putting things together here, maybe Sloshy slowing down after that reset, but now time for a clean slate as we're tied up heading into the second set. This is so scary similar to the first set of this map. Uh, Chaos trying to battle back day by day with slim leads uh, through the first five hills. And uh, again, it's KB and Exotic carrying the weight for their team. As you see, just nine kills combined for, McD for McBain and Sloshy. Gonna have to start carrying their weight a little bit because day by day already taking advantage. You see how even their score lines are across the board. Day by day, a very nice collective effort for them has allowed them to come out to a 20 point lead here. But the power of KB and Exotic just too, too much as they are gonna get this scrap time from the looks of it day by day looking towards mid map. Yeah, Sloshy right now, big chilling in the hill. Help around the outside. Exotic's gonna put together a quick two. Over towards the second set, KB from behind. Looking to pinch things out with the rest in of his team. Reddit, last one up there. KB is gonna win out. That's three down, four day by day. A Slim's the closest one, maybe to punish this one. Having a great map, 22 and 12. Plus 10 into the hard point so far, but gonna need a little bit more from the rest of the team off spawn. Reddit. Up top, searching for these members. MCW at the ready, forced to jump in for the contest, but McBain's gonna take him L back and forth into the feed. Ace now flanking, shot through the middle, back and forth, but it's gonna be three down for Chaos as they're gonna jump, or sorry, day by day, jumping back into the hard point. Yeah, I, I mean, perhaps a little bit of, of an overzealous uh, contest out of Reddit. I don't think he knew that he had help around him, uh, but again, it didn't matter. His teammates literally flew in, got his trade, picked up two more, and they they are going to get this scrap time as going to be Exotic looking to pick him off to keep that time white, but not going to be the case. So good play here out of Exotic. They're covering all facets of the map, but now you start to feel the pressure towards yeah. P3. It's going to be a two-on-two, -two, and you see player number four first. He already pushed up mid. He's got Slim's with him, trying to break this point. But it's chaos in there for the time being. And Rook just waiting for his chance here. Looks like they're going to double clear towards the staircase. Big shots wow. there from Slim's. And wow, what is this break? Oh my goodness. Ooh. KB alone still gets two. But the break from day by day. They get the spawns in the back. And they're going to be able to reinforce this hard point. Breaking within the first 10 seconds. Yep. Great break. KB trying to do it all right there. Able to get two. Good kill out of McBain. But again, just the, the kill feed all blue right now, day by day, slowly but surely starting to take over. Scoreline doesn't do them justice. They are just massively outslaying Chaos right now. And uh, they continue to build this lead as they creep up on that 200 point threshold. A lot better this time around that one of your members isn't lagging. So day by day, holding this lead for a better finish onto this Vista hard point. They have the rotations over towards P4. Remember, there is going to be caught. That's Chip Sloshy being spotted over towards the top of rails. McBain going to be holding some presence in towards the back. Big read there onto Red. It's still staying strong here. Now for the rest of the team to flood from the top. Firsty in the back line. Will it be enough? Kill streak from Rook. It allows him to have that 1v1. Firsty is going insane wow. right now. 20 and 12 for Firsty on a five street looking for that streak and Slims already has 30 on this map. The most kills on the other side, 22. It's Exotic just outpowering his day by day. The four dead yet again. They continue to hold strong. They can't win on this hill, but man, they can get real close. Oh yes, they can. Day by day looking to shake things up here in the round robin. Upset chaos on a hard point. Exotic's gonna take one last dip in towards the hill. Breaks in for scrap, but that's not enough. Over towards the rotation of P5, the early setup front day by day. You gotta see if you can break here if you're Chaos, but Slims is cutting it down through the middle. It's another four spree, finessing his life. KP's gonna put him to rest. Into the back line, Reddit, waiting for the rest to push right into his iron sights, and he's gonna take down another one with the help of Firsty. Into the beat Ooh. down, no, Sloshy staying alive into the hard point, it's not enough. Close spawns from Chaos, but it's only four seconds needed. Ace looking to hold on, but here comes Chaos. Yeah, desperate times, Chaos 
trying everything they can to hang on into this game. Reddit battling. You see the hill just contested. P1 also being contested on the other side, but two go down. Two more seconds come in. Day by day, answer back after a bit of a shaky first set on the Vista. They come back and they were flying. Welcome to the day by day show. And you see smiles on the stage from their team as well. Serious business on the right side. As that is quite the feat to accomplish there, taking down Chaos, a team that a lot of people would have expected to stand out here at TXP number three with, you know, KB and Exotic on your roster. You put in uh, the likes of uh, of Sloshy in with it as well. And, you know, maybe not a, a good map from the, the two players that you're picking up for this tournament, but yeah. uh, I, I think that is just a big moment. I don't even want to take that away from the side of day by day. They played that fantastic. When it came down to the rotations, they were there for so often the breaks they were breaking within 10 seconds you had the slaying power you had the pressure through the middle of the map and you were just not allowing this chaos team to ever really fight these hard points at full strength oh a hundred percent and and we talked about containing kb and exotic but it was really about containing the other two and and they did exactly that McBain and sloshy really couldn't get anything going on the map and you got to think that you know if if they get a few more kills things go differently for chaos but in this case uh like you said don't want to take anything away from day by day because they took care of business yeah. they all look great right now yeah and taking it them into the search and destroy now for a chance just a reminder i mean we're still in the round robins that means we're still in best of threes yeah. which means we're going to the search and destroy and this is a chance for day by day to 2 0 chaos inside of the groups that would put them in fantastic standings heading in towards the bracket play i Absolutely. mean this is their chance to really make a statement leaving the the, the group play yeah uh, a statement would be an understatement because beating a team like this again a potential favor for this tournament i don't think anybody really talked about day by day that much uh, as being as far as being a contender uh, to win this event but i mean here after, they are after that map here they are you're exactly right and well we're going to get into map two now search and destroy on invasion what do you expect to see out of Chaos to answer back? I mean, again, you don't even have to look towards the two on the left. You know you're, what you're going to get from Exotic and KP. Sloshy was 2 and 14 at one point in that hard point. It's just, it, it, you can't have that, period, on yeah. the main stage. And you're going to need some more out of it, Sloshy for sure. Mick Bain, let's see if he can put on for the team as well. So they're going to be starting on the attacking side of this invasion, search and destroy Reddit. Not sure if he got the information on the player through mid. He did not. That's exotic for first blood. McBain for a second. That's the offense opening up the map. Yeah, I mean, that all came with the likes of exotic. Ace does get one back, and he does get away with his life, too. Whoa. So that's big. Bomb does drop. So smoke going out. Exotic looking for this player inside the cafe. Pushes up mid and first thing on the opposite side, gonna take out KB. So just like that, 2v4 turns into a 2v2 and bomb spotted as well. So Ace is gonna get that info. His teammate's gonna start wrapping back towards V and expect that full wrap deep. And Ace with another win, Exotic drops. And now it's just McBain in a 1v2. This was a 2v4, Colin. Ace is getting away with everything right now over towards Cafe. McBain's gonna be wow. spotted in the open. And day by day, there you have it. What a way to start this search and destroy. You get first blooded, you get blooded right off the first two kills. And then you come back from a 2v4. I mean, Slims is doing everything to stay alive in that cafe, you know, getting the information over towards the player, leaving the bomb, say, with that bomb, McBain, not taking those shots, playing your information, feeding that communication to the rest of your, your team or your player over towards B, and then winning that fight for Exotic inside cafe. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better play style there. Oh, 100%. And if Ace doesn't get away with his life, that round could completely uh, look different. As uh, Exotic started off hot, like, I mean, he literally just ran up mid to mid tank, got an early kill, and things were looking very good for Chaos, but great answer by Day by Day as here comes the Chals onto mid tank. KB trying to desperately stay alive, has pressure all around him, but guess who's there? It's Exotic, his challenger's teammate picks up two, and now here we are again, 4v2 for Chaos, it's time to close it out. Yeah, Exotic bringing the map to a halt so far. First, he's going to be spotted as well. Dropped to 50 HP, but able to stay alive. So you're going to look towards your teammate, Killrook, to maybe take some of the edge off here. 
See if he can fish for, fish for a shot first. He's going to take some shots at absolutely nothing. I'm not sure what he saw, but maybe thinking somebody was laying prone. Firsty hoping something is given away, but I love this from the side of Chaos. They're taking their time to weed out these players. Killrook's going to get spotted over towards the cafe, and that's Firsty in a one versus four with only 24 seconds left. <laughs> hey, Zarin. It's done for that round. <laughs> I, I, I'm a believer that nothing is impossible, but I think that was pretty much impossible. Um, unfortunately for Firsty, not much of a chance for him to do anything in that one before. A good answer round for Chaos on defense, um, especially after losing a 2v4 there in round one. Good answer back. Back in the driver's seat here, and we're all square up. So here we go, tied back up, heading on to the offensive side for Chaos day by day. Their defense, last time they got lucky, I will say. Mm. You know, you can't always rely on Ace and Firsty to win 2v4. So I'm looking at them to play their lives off the bat. A little bit safer, Firsty's gonna get the nade barrage, still gets over towards the tractor, some help over towards Dark, but Exotic's gonna force his way through. Reddit gets blooded, that's gonna open up this mid tank for a potential split over towards A. They're playing the kills for now. Looking to see if they lock down some presence here, and their only presence gonna be stuck over towards this A side. McBain's gonna turn this into a one versus three. Firsty, looking to see if he can get the bomb on cross, but he cannot, and that should be the round. Yeah, should be once again. Bomb is gonna get planted here on A by Sloshy. First, he does have a little bit of time, 45 seconds left to work, but he's gonna have to find a kill here within the next 10 seconds or so to even make this realistic. And uh, well, it's just not gonna be the case. First, he just gonna hang out the back tree house, look for anything he can, look for a scam, but knowing chaos, that's probably not gonna come. And right now, chaos are the better team in, in this search and destroy, despite only being up 2-1. Yeah. They've gotten first blood the like the first three rounds, so. As long as they continue to keep that, they're they're well on their way to uh, a very convincing search and destroy win. Yeah. I know it's still very early, but that's super. Uh, early. That's the way it's going. And Firsty there, just making a whole lot of noise. See if you can catch some players lacking, but talk about a good start to a search and destroy. McBain five and one. Love to see that out of this player for chaos. See if he can continue with that spree heading into. The next couple of rounds, Cruise Missile would be fantastic for a map like Invasion. He's yeah. already on four in a row, so going to have to keep our eyes on that for sure. Day by day, swapping over towards their attack. And last time they weren't able to get anything going, they got blooded over towards the uh, over towards blue. I put Bomb in a bad spot, and they really weren't able to work any map control. So it seems like they're going to try to work their way in towards the cafe, see if they can draw out some members there. That's a great read out of McBain. Knows there's no pressure. No gets way. first blood, no gets way. second two. McBain with a huge two. He's looking for three. Gonna back him up. You see how deep these two players are. Look at the map presence that Chaos has right now. These two players are trapped. That's a decent kill out of Kill Rook. Frees up a little bit of space, but man, they're just completely trapped. They know this player. I believe that's uh, uh, first E rather. Completely trapped. Yep, there's Exotic to clean him up. And now Kilrook, so much to do with so little time left. And McBain gets his third of the round. And excellent read out of McBain. No pressure on the B Street. Runs right up and great reads out of him. It's almost instant. Yeah. Throw a stun. Maybe nade. Blow up the cars. Nobody's there. All right. Yeah. I'll run. You're going to leave this open and stand there like deer in the headlights. Yep. I'll be happy to take those shots. And we talked about maybe getting the cruise missile. Well, now he has the cruise missile yep. already four rounds into it. Chaos with that streak in their pocket. Definitely looking a lot better in the search and destroy. And day by day, they need an answer soon for the offensive side. Firstly, though, their defense. Again, it comes down to these opening engagements. You just do not want to give any map control up to chaos i need to start seeing them fight for this early pressure and that's gonna be it from firsty first blood onto sloshy off that nade is he gonna see this player over towards broken no getting a little zealous there off the cruise missile forces him inside and that's gonna be the trade to open up the b side a little bit more yeah cruise missile gonna back him up so this is this is good here's an opportunity for chaos to get the bomb down, the aggression from Exotic. All map long, he's shown this. Eight kills for him now, too. Uh, he's halfway to a cruise. McBain gets his eighth kill in a row, and that leaves Killruck in a 1v3. He's going to get taken out here momentarily, and Chaos are cruising thanks to Exotic and McBain. And look at that. It is just pure vibes. You, you, we have a team literally called Vibe Tribe, but that's the Vibe <laughs> Tribe right there. 
10 and 1 from McBain. I, that is that is one hell of a bounce back after losing that map one hard point. So seems like this chaos team is ready to push us in towards the control. Just a couple more rounds for them day by day. How do they draw this one back? Now once they attack again, they're struggling to keep chaos away from getting aggressive in a lot of these positions. And last round we saw them do a fantastic job at getting that early damage, locking down that first blood, but they gave it away right away. You need to start seeing them try to work these players, see if you can force them into the what? open, and then wow. lock down those kills. But McBain is just shooting a little bit different in this search and destroy 11 and 1. He is shooting laser beams 10 in a row for McBain making 11. What? Oh my god, McBain cannot miss a bullet right now. Not sure what that smoke is all about, but <laughs> you just take away your best player's line of sight here in this S D exotic drops, but still control for chaos as McDain McBain continues to just fry. Call this guy McBeams. Yeah. Hey, he's just shooting so straight. 11 in a row? That's just unheard of here. TXP3. Put it on a show. Kill Rook. Can you draw something out there? Nice shots on the player on the bomb, but you have to worry about the player on the tank. Kill Rook dropped to 50. Health gets away. But you have somebody breathing down your neck. KB just waiting for this opportunity through mid. Looks like the uh, timing's going to work out for Kill Rook to actually start to wrap this one. And they're giving the time of day, those 17 seconds. Ace is going to find McBain onto the tank. Finally put a stop to that streak. Smoke goes down and Kill Rook now for a chance to make this play. Take the player off oh, B, no. but he stops shooting. 1v1, KB looking to put it away. He wow. will, waiting in the shadows to win that round. And that is another round over towards Chaos. Five in a row. I mean... McBain, come on. That, that is just absurd what he's doing right now. Uh, and Exotic is doing just as much, being so aggressive with the Rival 9 in his hand. He's just disrupting these offensive pushes from day by day. And, and they, they have no answer for him right now. Reddit, all in six and not able to put anything together. And like I said, Chaos just completely controlling the Search and Destroy from the start. Their one round loss, they started with a 4v2. Or they, they blew a 4v2, so... Uh, realistically, this could very easily be a 6-0. But regardless, day by day, they still have a chance to come back and win this, but they need to take it one round at a time. Link through mid. Oh, I mean, Exarch just walks up for free. Slims is going to be caught for first blood. Reddit there for the trade, but it's too little too late. Chaos chipping away at this defense. KB looking for the info. He will. Decides to trade some shots. Nothing going to land for either side. And it looks like they're going to gamble over towards this B straight. They know one player is here. He's trying to weed them out. Lots of time to get this damage in. He's going to look for that angle. Nothing. What is that angle? Spotted. Can he, like, is that? that you get, like, aim assist? Client side? Something? I'm not sure. Wow. The wall bang hits, though, and they know. <laughs> Here comes the reinforcements for day by day in towards the back cinder block. Hopefully able to help for the cross. The smoke's out. McBain shut down by right on the flank. Ooh. Firsty with a big kill on point. Sloshy goes down. That brings it into another 1v1. KP yet again. Now to put away the search and destroy. Send us to the control and rips him off the head glitch. Easy as could be. Man, what a map from Chaos as KB stands up, appreciating his teammates for all the work that they did. McBain, what a map, but it was KB and Sloshy doing the work there in the final two rounds. Unbelievable shots. KB's three and two. Three and two. Two 1v1s towards the end of the game. And those are probably two of the most important kills that he could have got there, making some value there in throughout the game. I mean, you really don't have to do anything when McBain is putting up numbers like that. But what a way to answer back for Chaos. You lose that first round. A Slims continuing on a tear with that SMG over towards Cafe. You thought for a second after a 2v4 loss that maybe there were some issues still with this Chaos team moving into the wars to search and destroy. And they put that thought to rest right away. Six yeah. rounds unanswered in Invasion Search sends us towards this control and what was the difference there from the team i mean you could you could just feel it even that first round they completely dominated the like the majority of the map they just i don't know they lost gunfights a slims got some good timings early on since then 
I mean, the aggression was just so overpowering. It was Exotic coming in first. Every single gunfight, he was out for first blood. I think he had three, maybe even four first bloods. And McBain was was the one to read the pressures on the map. And that, I mean, that one round when they were on defense, I think it was round four or five, maybe. Uh, no one up B Street. So he read it, waited five seconds, ran right up two piece on the on the players playing slow towards a so um it was really really well done by chaos reading the pressures on the map uh, K, uh kb and sloshy there for support and it was the mcbain and exotic show in that yeah one. from start to finish and heading in towards this control again that now we shift the focus back over towards day by day because you had a fantastic map number one when it came down to using that respawn prowess putting down the pressure ace limbs dropped 30 plus kills on the vista hard points yeah. and moving into this map three it kind of seems like you need to look towards these players to have another individual standout map i mean you're looking at a team in chaos where you know i, I hate to just keep gassing up this one yeah. team but uh, you look at who's on them i mean a top challengers player in kb a top challengers player in exotic and exotic you know you go above that he has had veteranship experience even yeah. beyond the challenger side so i mean these are two players that you have to show some respect to when you're on the side of day by day and moving in towards this Control, I think you kind of have to take some pages out of the book of that hard point. Play fundamental, mm -hmm. work together, try to lock down these lanes and use the teamwork to hold these crossfires. Make it tough for players like Exotic and KB to be those superstar members. And if you can silence Mick Bain and if you can silence the Sloshy, that's a two members that you don't really have to worry about like we saw them struggling back on that Vista. So it's kind of going back in towards that respawn form. Maybe they're going to be a little bit more comfortable when they can do that controlled chaos that you will get in a control or a hard point. Yeah. When you take away the strategy of the search and destroy, possibly this is where you can see the side of day by day shine. 100%. And we are going to move into a high rise control. So um, we know that ARs are going to be a huge factor on this map. So you got to look at, at the likes of Killrook on the other side. Again, yeah. been a little bit quiet this series, but, um, and, and you talked about fundamentals. This team just need to play very fundamental COD. The side of Chaos, they have scrimmed one, one scrim session leading up to this event. So they're not a well-practiced team. Uh, definitely, certainly relying on the, the gun skill of their two core players. So what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say they just need to play smart. I, for, for day by day, they it's just fair. need to play smart Call of Duty, and they they should take care of business on this map. Yeah, I mean that's what you boil it down to in a lot of Call of Duty that we do see, especially at you know this level or you see an even tier two level. Fundamentals, you can't really beat it. You start at the base, you move your way up when it comes down to adding that little finesse into it where you can, your little dose of individuality for yeah. your team. And I think we saw a lot of that back in the hard point. You can really latch onto that if you are the side of day by day. They don't look too bothered of losing no. that search and destroy whatsoever. You know you're going into a map in high rise where you can have the impact that you did on vista so i like that you're kind of putting some focus onto these ar members especially on this map if you can get the top heli if you can allow those ars to set up in the power positions yeah. we know what they can do we know they can take down this uh, this team of chaos and that's no question whatsoever it's just kind of putting it in towards the uh the process of this game not allowing that search and destroy to really bother you too much just shake it off get into the control and uh, see the bounce back 100%. And, and if you're if you're day by day, you could take it as well. You know, they probably got the S and Ds. And and if they clearly look like the better respawn team as of right now, control obviously a different game mode, but the same principles apply. They played fundamental fundamentally fantastic in map number one. They need to do the exact same thing here. Most importantly, keeping. Uh, the enemy team as far away from their spawn as possible on the offensive side. Yeah. It can get so brutal on offense. If you get three, four dead and the other team pushes up the map, you can just get trapped in your base for 30, 40, 50 seconds even uh, at some points in control. So uh, high rise is a map very uh, reliant on, uh, you know, not dying. Like yeah. Playing your life on this map is super, super important. So they can't get caught three or four dead at any point. No, for for sure. And, you know, in chat, somebody's saying Sloshy's S&D strats can't be beat. <laughs> Maybe they know something that we don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Sloshy, just the, the brains of the operation when it comes down to the search and destroys. But I think that when we're moving into this one, this map number three, it's hard to tell really what we're going to get. I think for the, for the side of um, day by day, it's just kind of one of those situations where – 
we could talk about it all day. We know what they can do. Mm. It's just, can they find that confidence again? For sure. On the other side, you have those superstars and you have those players who you kind of need to pick up the slack uh, as support for Chaos and then putting that all together as a team to see them reach that new step for taking teams like Pulsive down or taking teams like Saints down in the long run if they are going to make it into the bracket and look to make that deep run later yeah. on down the line because this is just the beginning here at TXP3. This is just day one. It's been so fantastic to see everybody come out here and I do want to say thank you to everybody who has shown up in yeah. person, all the players who come down to this. I know, I know it's not Toronto, but you know, TXP is TXP no matter where we are Absolutely. in the world. And have everybody show up, play here as a, as a local in Canada. We don't get too much of this. And it's fantastic to see the energy just being so high here in St. Clair. Oh, 100%. And it's a, also shout out to the Americans that showed up to this event as well. There's, of course. We got a handful, uh, including Kilrook and company uh, in this matchup. And, you know, just making the drive out, those from Ohio, those from Michigan, it, it's been fantastic to see everybody come together again. That's what's so great about locals, seeing friends, oh, yeah. seeing familiar faces. And, um, again, the Canadian representation here is fantastic. So, uh, super awesome to see. And, well, that's going to do it for that. But now we got game three. Yeah, Otherwise. we got game three loading up for both of these teams. It seemed like we just had a little bit of a shaders update to get through. Hey, you know the yeah, case, folks. The you know, some stuff happens and it takes a little bit of time to get into the game. But we're hopping into the high rise control for map three. Both teams tied up. It was the likes of day by day taking the hard points in a very actually commanding fashion. I would say it was a close map, but they just seemed like they were in control for the full time around. All right. Just kidding. Pranked you. But <laughs> we're going to go to a draw, re reset things for a little bit. And uh, Zarin, now uh, looking at this tournament for a whole lot of teams, I, I hate to kind of spring this on you, but we're kind of like grasping at straws here. <laughs> Do you got favorites for the tournament? Um, I, I would say... Um, Non-biased because, you know, non -biased, obviously. Non-biased. Um, coming into this, my top four was um, Chaos. Uh, I would say... Con was team, I forget. Oh, no, nobility. nobility. Yeah, yeah, nobility. Um, I think St. Clair Saints are right up there with with the rest of them. Um, and, I mean, you could even say this team. I, I think uh, God, Bowser, and Co. are also another team to be reckoned with. Yeah. To pick one favorite, it's tough. Um, probably nobility just because they've played together the longest uh, and they have had success at, uh, at locals before. They would probably be my number one favorite. Not far behind would be would be St. Clair as well as God Bowser and Chaos. It's a tough top four, it honestly, is. when it you're looking at it is. for sure. And there's a lot of local talent too, or oh, you yeah. know, pickup talent that has really stepped up today. Uh, whether it's you know teams losing or not, there's a lot of players who have showed up. Whether it's the Canadians or whether it's the Americans to put on a, a big show. A couple of them early on. I mean, you talk about that Bolsov team, God Bowser taking down St. Clair, 100 point clubbing them. Yeah, right off the bat. I mean. Uh, tough sights, you know, for <laughs> two of us who are yeah. St. Clair, you know, veterans. But uh, that's the way she goes sometimes mm -hmm. when you're looking at tournaments. And it's nice to see that, that you know, even with, like, the Saints being that home team, it's not really going to change the way that people are going to play against them. So I, I think that, you know, I would have had St. Clair as one of those top teams going into this tournament. After seeing that, you have to put Pulse of in that conversation oh, for 100%. sure. Give them their flowers for it as well. And I, I think I'm right there with you. I think if I was going to give anybody uh, off of pure team chemistry, definitely going to give it to Nobility Rising. But when you look at somebody like this Chaos team, looking at that Cirque and Destroy and, and how much when you see them clicking and when you see it all put together, how dangerous they can be, I think this Chaos team is somebody we're going to have to keep our eyes on. And who knows? If day by day comes out and takes them down here in the control, that is going to skyrocket their stocks in my mind. So many teams to look at here in TXP3. And tomorrow, I mean, so many matches that we're going to get through when it comes down to that bracket play. But for those waiting, looks like we're getting these players back into the lobby. Hopefully, second time is the charm when it comes to getting in towards this high-rise control. And this will be our last match of the night. So let's see if we can kick it off with a bang. Here we go. Game three underway. First time on stream. Chaos answers with a search and destroy. First, he answers right there with first blood here on high-rise. And... 
Well, it's going to be Chaos on offense, looking to do what they can. You see Exotic already aggressive. He was so aggressive throughout that SMD. The oh, turn whoa. and burn! Oh, not a great start for Ace Slims, but a great start for Exotic. As Kill's just going back and forth, Killrook gets two. And uh, Sloshy's just going to have to back down for now as his teammates come off spawn, already leaning towards A. Yeah, it is big from Killrook to kind of pick up the slack there from Ace Slims getting turned on, but Slims just not having a good start to this control. KB is going to jump over in towards B. Stop that time you have a player to worry about top propane and somebody underneath them that's looking to get in behind so a couple players now collapsing onto this position kb on an island reddit's going to start to draw those arrows and turn them around playing for that distraction kill rook first they're going to decap this b zone get in there and take chaos out and now reddit has a chance to really punish these players off spawn he's three in a row yeah, this is, this is what we talked about pregame, getting pushed up the map if you get three down, but KB able to clear out Reddit and Killrook himself with that Renetti once again. So, so good with it. Uh, definitely a difficult gun to get as many kills as he does. Exotic already pushed up in B. That's going to be a B cap. Can they make the shift over to A? Four players up for day by day, so it is going to be difficult. You see Exotic getting aggressive through their spawn. Yeah. They lost complete track of him too. Nobody's going to be ready for this one. Exotic four in a row, posting up. Players from day by day have to put some focus here, and Killrook's gonna take him down before he can get closer to that cruise missile. And look at this, Slims, the second one. They're gonna break out of their spawn, and they don't even allow that first segment to be worked on. So Chaos still gonna have to fight for this one. Minute 12, lives down by two for the attacking side. Exotic should be able to take this player yeah. from top propane, and that's gonna put some pressure here onto Slims. Oh, Slims Ooh. not able to finish off that kill. KB looking to come to the rescue of McBain, and some pressure over towards A. They're gonna stop the clock in a minute. Yep, a nice 2-2 split right now, but Sloshy does drop. KB drops as well. Fantastic kill from Killrook. That's gonna stop that progress immediately. And now, Exotic, the lone man up towards the blue side. First he gets one, Exotic trades him back, but no support around him. You see McBain Bane pushed up, not being able to do much of anything yet as his teammates just coming off a of spawn. So Chaos, gonna have to slow play this as day by day begin to begin their search for McBain. It's just gonna pull their uh, their uh, gun sights just away, just a little bit. Yeah, and that's three down for Chaos. So McBain has a lot to work on, but Killrook gonna shut him down. 26 seconds, back to the respawn block. Exotic working his way through. Underneath, it's Reddit. Wow. Nice shots from the rival nine, and Killrook still continuing to find the value. KB's gonna drop down. Last hurrah for Chaos. Eight playing 12, and only 12 seconds left. KB's gonna jump into the windows through mid, see if he can do some damage here, but he's losing teammates. KB's gotta go big. Renetti's out. Can he to be enough? Three no. seconds left. Somebody's gotta touch. They get on with two seconds, and now it's time to see how much they can get. Well, trying to get at least one tick is huge. Contested right now is Reddit. Trying to jump up over the box. Shuts down Sloshy. Looking for that second. He does. Killruck over there for support. There's three for Reddit. That'll be the round. Three ticks for Chaos, but a fantastic uh, retake. Reddit went vertical. Yeah, he did. <laughs> From all the top rope. All three kills. We don't get to see the first one in the final kill cam, but... I mean, what a play from Reddit using every angle on that propane tank. Now that it doesn't blow up, you don't have to be too afraid of it. So he's going to put away that first round in favor of day by day. And they don't even give up a takeover towards A. So that's no. three segments for Chaos off that attacking side. You thought for a second with how much pressure Chaos were putting on that flank presence, trying to work through the underneath of their spawn. You thought they were going to be able to get onto A easily, but I like the play from day by day to always go for that overextension and punish those players on Chaos who were kind of unaware of the potential for those OEs. Yeah, I mean, there just wasn't a lot of pressure down mid, so it allowed day by day players just to push up the middle of the map, hit those hit those pinches off of spawn, and it really just caught Chaos off guard. But first, he actually going to fall off the map. I thought he got some bad timing on KB. Doesn't matter. Just going to run and die. So, nice reset now for Day by Day. The only player in a... I guess he missed him. Uh, finally, he'll pick up the kill, but a little bit of an awkward uh, timing there, but... Sees him in the rear view mirror. Yeah, so Day by Day just gonna reset, try to work their way towards B. Exotic, wow, shut down. Nice shots there from the two players of Day by Day working together. Chance to get onto B, get some good progression onto the zone as well. And Sloshy, top heli, gonna have to peel back and help the team. 
Look to decap this one, but Sloshy goes down. Here's the kill streak from KB. It's going to allow McBain to hop in over towards B and start to work on contesting this one. Hiding away. Slims doesn't read it, and that's a big kill to slow things down. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Pardon me. As now, day by day, they have to scramble to get to one of these zones. McBain trying to put some work up towards the green tarp side. Disrupt whatever he can. KB with a huge pinch. That player's not looking behind him. Finally, he does the reach out. KB takes him out. Exotic on the other side takes down Reddit as well. Now, three players drop, but two players get their kills back. They start to work towards the left side, trying to get any sort of pressure towards B Street. McBain spotted from up top. Player on the site that should be a second tick, but no. KB slides in, grabs one, oh, jumps no. back out. Five seconds left to go. Trying to stop the second tick. He does for the time being. 1v1 on the point. He knows the player top propane. Trying to stay alive. KB finally drops. That second tick comes in. Will the third four go down? Looks so like that it will. will be a B cap. Now they can get to A as soon as possible. Try to beat the likes of Chaos there. And look at the lives. 15 playing 14. So both teams very even as A is going to be jumped on right away by day by day. Also, KB was shut down before getting that second cruise missile, so no extra streak to break out of your spawn. Killer Rook, he's going to pack Exotic with the tactical. Three go oh. down again. And now day by day, looking to go and take an offense away from this Chaos team as the stack is out. Chip's got to go big. Exotic wow. now decapping that third tick. We're not done yet. Well, tick's already in favor of day by day, but... Man, they came close to winning that offense right there, but Exotic and Co. go huge. Going huge again, now on a three streak. Not sure if he got spotted on the outside. Yes, he did. So Exotic just going to back on up. Wait for some support. KB, good read out of him towards the B site. Now he can start to work towards mid. Gets shot at from top heli. Nothing doing. Exotic there for the cleanup work. And now a 6v8, 30 seconds left for day by day to try to get this third and final tick. Oh, this could very well come down to kills. Big out of McBain to play that 1v1, but now up top it's Exotic, good damage, finishes off the second with the Renetti, There's he's got streak. himself a cruise missile now to work with. 21 seconds, A Slims and go. Somebody's gonna have to touch down on this point at some point, and now Chaos, no more respawns to worry about. So all eyes forward, Slim's gonna be shut down, looking to hit that OE, Kill Rook trades out. Now two members left for Chaos to look to clutch up. Six seconds left, first he's gonna make it a 1v7, wow. and day by day, taking this control round by round. Unbelievable, they finally get the job done. There's not much more Exotic could have done there to keep him off of the A site. He did everything on that first wave to keep him off, had seven in a row. He does have that streak though for this offense. They are absolutely gonna need it at some point in this round. But where do you go from here if you're Chaos? You got one player struggling mightily and just no pressure towards the point and no way uh, to transfer uh, swiftly from B to the A site. They're, they have their work cut out for them here with how day by day they're currently playing. Yes, they do. And again, it comes down to the supporting cast of McBain and Sloshy just not putting it together in these respawns. Three and 17, 10 and 17. You need to start to see them play their life a whole lot more and hold their angles. McBain looking to get a little bit spicy here on a potential flank play. He's gonna slide out easy, clean up onto Reddit. Now waiting for a little bit more to pop out, but as his teammates Ooh. drop, McPain barely holding onto the ledge. He's gonna jump up over towards the top oh. propane, but <laughs> Slim's gonna jump down, you know? And it's maybe a chance to break out your spot now for Chaos. They got to look over towards B. Exotic invests the streak as well, and Slims gets caught by that one. So that is back-to-back -back kills onto A Slims, but they're still struggling to get out of their spawn. Kill Rook is on five in a row. He's Finally. not going to be able to find that streak, though. Yeah, I think that was a good use of the streak from Exotic to try to relieve some sort of pressure towards B and get at least a tick on the board, but not going to happen as he finally gets cleaned up. McBain staying alive for as long as possible. Good kill again from Exotic. Three go down. Now they have two players towards the A site. They need to commit to one, but it actually looks like they're going to commit to both. Exotic going to solo chow on the A site while two players try to stack on to B. They have numbers towards the B bomb. Exotic needs to go huge. Does not matter. They do have the ticks coming in on B. Second one about to be consumed. Whoa. KB with a huge one as well. Traded back out. Going to have a couple gunfights for McDana. One on three on time. Not even able to get one. Pressure relieved. 30 seconds left to go. Yeah. Chaos on the brink. McBain unsuspecting of the player jumping up the ladder. Exotic on the overextension. 
See if he can find a couple kills and open up this lane. He will. First, he drops, and that's going to allow some players out of the respawn. But as Exotic hits the flank, two members of Day by Day will flank in their own right. Reddit and A-Slims now looking to break back in towards the zone. Kill Rook, a third one. KB for the point, keeping this one alive. 17 seconds. KB finds a multi-kill. This B-Zone now potential to get capped. One more shot here from A-Slims, but he's going to get shot down. Wow. And that's the B zone secured. Add a minute to the clock. 13 playing 8 Chaos. This is their series on the line. It's going to take basically one break, maybe two, if Chaos is lucky. But Killrook is beaming right now. 27 and 20 from him. We, we talked about him before this map, and we he did. is showing up big time. It's going to take just one more break. You got five lives left for Chaos to try to get the A site. So, so hard to get there. Now only four left. McBain opens up the site just a little bit, but look at the map control. The map is basically cut in half with where Day by Day are set up right now, and four lives left. It's all or nothing right now for Chaos. Exotic. Taking Reddit out from Crane. Killrook still over towards the propane, but players escaping him. That's a stack now for the zone. And Killrook's gonna go down, so this is a chance for Chaos to stack it and see if they can take this one to around number four Reddit. Jumping in towards the B zone, seeing if he can slay out and hopefully open wow. up a chance to get back to this one. Slims leading the charge back over towards A. Killrook to double down. Pre-fire from Slims not going to be there. And now it's 22 seconds with two ticks in. But there's no lives let. And day by day, we get an upset on the main Ooh. stage. They take down Chaos in the round robin. And they push themselves to take their pool. Wow. First seed. Day by day coming out of this group and again, not expected, upset indeed. Chaos, I mean, they were right there. It felt like every round it just, again, overwhelmed and just overall outplayed by day by day. Great team effort from them all series long, really. I mean, talk about Search and Destroy is whatever, but their respawns look fantastic right now. Yeah, Search and Destroy was one thing. I, I think you really saw the best out of this Chaos team when it came down to that map number two. But both respawns for day by day looked fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. Ace had 30 plus kills back in map number one on the Vista. Kill Rook, uh, very underrated. You know, we didn't talk enough about him back on that Vista. Very yeah. influential when it comes down to the AR battles. Silence in KB in so many in important moments. And then we saw it again back on that map number three. I mean, we got to talk about the two most impactful players inside of that high rise control was Kill Rook and Reddit. Two yeah. very underrated players, obviously, here in this tournament where Reddit absolutely turned up the dial here on high rise and looked fantastic with that mcw in his hand kill rook so many times you saw him just posted up in such a power position cutting off the players and it's quite like that vista not allowing chaos to ever play at full strength when it came to attacking those zones 100 percent, and i mean for the likes of chaos it, it it can't be two players or three players um it needs to be a more well-rounded effort uh going into the winner's bracket later on today um just just didn't have enough firepower for, for the likes of Day by Day, and they took advantage. Um, l both map one and map three, it just, it seemed like the feed was always blue. They were able to get two pieces and three pieces, and the important kills from Killrook that came through numerous amount of times on high rise there uh, ultimately led them to victory. I mean, there was, I, it was a 3-0. It played a lot closer, but it was those key moments that ultimately day by day just looked better. Yeah, the overextensions, the team play, the coordination, an upset yeah. to end the night here at TXP3. And so many fantastic moments as well. It's just leading into a great bracket once we oh, do yeah. get things settled in. But uh, folks at home, too. Tuning in, we just want to thank you all for hanging around here for TXP3. And tomorrow, we're going to be back with more action for the bracket on stream at 11 a.m. here on the East Coast. So you don't want to miss out on every single moment. Thank you all for sticking around. But we'll see you tomorrow with more Toronto XP here at St. Clair College. Have a great night.